So it takes a three hour drive and turns it into a 15 minute flight essentially. From his office in Lee County, Chris Allen from Florida Drone Supply knows more about unmanned aircraft than most, helping to supply both commercial and recreational users. And lately, business is booming, and the tech only gets more sophisticated. So the technology gets better, just like an iPhone or you know a TV that you would buy at Best Buy. With time, technology gets better, it gets smaller. And while the application for what drones can be used for are almost endless, ah, battery's dead. And one thing is noticeably missing from the skies over Lee County: delivery drones. I sound good now. And even though they're overseas, delivery drones are literally saving lives. Experimental at this point. Now there are countries uh, overseas and there are companies that do really great things with drone delivery. There's a company uh, actually that was started in Rwanda that delivers medical supplies via drone. Um, and they launch drones like every 20 or 30 seconds and they fly 20, 30, 50, 100 miles and get the life-saving uh, equipment or whatever it is that they're delivering to the patients and help save lives. And while some retail companies like Walmart are currently experimenting with drone delivery services elsewhere in Florida, for the most part, it's not widespread. As Chris explains, it all has to do with one specific Federal Aviation Administration rule, line of sight. Us as a 107 licensed pilot, we have to maintain line of sight and visual line of sight across uh, each flight. So if we're flying and we lose sight of the drone, technically we're in violation of that FAA law. And there's major fines uh, and legal penalties for that. And that's not to say that these drones aren't capable of autonomous flight. We sell drones here right now that I, I live in Cape Coral, 11.8 miles away, I can take off right now and fly to my house and not lose a signal. Now, is that legal? No. Would I like to do it? Yeah, I'll, I would love to right now, but unfortunately I can't do that. That's why right now the FAA is working to gather safety data on autonomous drone flight to help prepare for a time in the near future where delivery drones are commonplace. And in a place like Lee County, traffic, gated communities, and senior citizens with mobility issues means fast drones delivering essentials like medicine could be indispensable. This is a game changer for someone to be able to order a package from Walmart without having to leave their home, without having to get a friend or neighbor to drive them, without getting on the bus. Think about picking up medicine, for example. And the other thing is the alleviation of congestion in parking lots and on the road. Every person that gets a drone delivery is not getting in their car to go to the local Walmart. That's exactly what Florida House Representative Spencer Roach thought when he sponsored the drone delivery services bill, which passed unanimously in both the Florida House and Senate. So what the bill really attempts to do is create a uniform standard regulatory framework for these companies to do business in Florida with this, with this drone delivery. His hope is that these regulations, along with those passed in other states, will inspire Congress to act on federal drone delivery regulations. And that soon, some things will be only a click and a short flight away. I think in the next five years, the skies will be filled with things buzzing around you, right? I mean, drones are going to be everywhere. You don't see that many drones out there now, but they're everywhere. Reporting in Lee County, Alex Howard, ABC7.